Being an actor means developing a connection with each character that you play, but at the same time, you must also establish a relationship with your audience. Praveen Reddy believes in being relatable as an actor and an online content creator, and Zach met up with him to find out how he puts his philosophy into action. Even in primary school, Praveen Reddy was fascinated by the idea of acting, and he was 16 when he performed in his first big musical. By 2014, he worked in four major Durban theatre productions and had decided to begin his BA degree. But comedy caught his imagination. He toured his first one-man stand-up comedy show in 2016 and has gone on to appear alongside major names such as David Cow and Mark Banks. Raven has also established an online presence with over 50,000 followers and over 70,000 views per video. Whenever I'm feeling like a grumpy bear, a few minutes of comedy immediately lifts my mood. After a grueling week like I've had, I would need a few hours of comedy to cheer me up. That's why I'm meeting with actor and comedian Praveen Reddy. Let's see if he can cheer up this grumpy girl. Is this the beginning of a good or a bad knock-knock joke? Knock-knock! Hello! You too, please come on in. Thank you for having I'm me. I'm so excited you're here. Look, you're just in time for breakfast. So, we're gonna make an omelette. Who taught you to cook? I taught myself. You know, my mom's a great cook. And there were times where she'd obviously work long days and wasn't at home, so I'd cook and learn. And naturally, the easiest thing to cook is eggs. So, I've learned that first, and now I am a pro I'm an egg connoisseur. Let's get to it. I'm a very health conscious person. I love using olive oil. Can I ask you to crack these for me? There we go. I don't know if it's a secret or not. The secret ingredient to fluffy eggs. I thought the secret ingredient to everything was love. While you do that, I'm gonna put in the onions first. Now, I know there's different ways of making an omelet, right? And we're doing it the Indian way. And we're in Devon. We're making a Devon omelet. <laughs> Must have chili. Where did your love of comedy come from? I've always had a passion for acting and the performing arts. And I started theater at the age of 15 and I got to work with some really cool people. And I think it was once I got to college and I started making videos on YouTube. And the response that I would get from the videos was, you're so funny, you should do stand-up. And eventually someone who worked in like the organizing planning industry and did comedy said, hey, why don't you do a show? So I'm saying, okay, let me see what I'm gonna order now. I'm standing, I'm looking, I'm like, hmm. She's probably thinking, idiot, what are you gonna get? Chicken, chicken, or chicken? <laughs> It was the scariest night of my life, and that was the first time I actually ever got on stage. The tomatoes are ready to go in. How did your parents feel about you studying <gasps> drama? It was that dramatic, <laughs> trust me. Initially, I was supposed to study law. Can you imagine? Surprise, surprise. Me, a lawyer, who would want me to defend them? And I told them, look, if you let me study at this performing arts school, I will major in a producing and scriptwriting degree, because producing is essentially business. So we're ready for... Just pour it in. Just Horse, there we go. Oh. You're also an actor and an MC, but can one just survive as a comedian in South Africa? The one thing I was taught by a very well known director in Devon is if you choose the entertainment industry as a career, you never wear just one hat. And I think that's where my interest came in learning multiple things in college, learning comedy, learning writing, learning producing. I mean, when I left college and I moved to Johannesburg, I was a PA for three years. But at the same time, I was learning different aspects of the industry and I was also doing stand-up. Oh, you cogs! I'm so excited you came, man. Yeah, no, man, I had to come, I had to come. Yeah, but see, I need to finish up in the kitchen, right? You're going to have a seat. No, no, you don't want to carry on in the kitchen. I'll go sit, allocated the seat. No, no, not allocated, not, not allocated. Okay, no, that's fine, don't worry, yeah. Carry on, carry on. This is where the doctor comes in. Doctor. Swab. Thanks. Mom, I'm a doctor, just so you know. <laughs> okay, so. Ah! We blocked. It broke. <laughs> He's gonna be okay. He's gonna, well, he looks tasty. Listen, sometimes things work out, Aww. and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we heard you have a few words for our viewers on Diwali. Oh, you! Oh, you! I don't know which ship you came into South Africa from. Oh, what did I? Diwali. 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 We say Diwali or Dipali. Right. Alrighty. This looks great, if I do say so myself. What topics do you cover in your comedy? Everyday things that a typical brown kid would essentially go through. People always ask me, how do you come up with these ideas? And I always tell them, I don't. It's, it just happened to me. I've lived through the moment. And what it's turning into now and what I'm starting to notice online is there's a lot of other kids that 
aren't Indian, but experience the exact same thing. I got the wooden spoon in the back, wooden spoon will attack. Try and back chat and I will make you sad. Told you do your chores, now you want a war? I've been doing your laundry and I can't no more. What advice do you have for aspiring comedians out there? Don't be afraid to do it. I get a lot of parents that come up to me and they're like, my kid loves what you do. They want to be an actor or they want to be a comedian, but you know, and I just say, let them do it. It doesn't mean that that's what they're going to do for the rest of their life, but allow them the opportunity to see if that's something they want to do. Ramin, thank you so much for all the laughs and fun today. Oh, thank you.